Now, it was one of Love Island's most shocking twists, but when Adam Collard landed in the villa as the show's first ever bombshell, turns out he only had highs for one person. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Is that Adam Collard? Hey, do you want to go for a little chaffage? Yeah, for yeah. sure. She is very fit. I know you're in a tricky situation, but I want to, like, put my cards on the table in the sense of, like, I would really like to get to know you. Things are going really, really well right now. Couldn't really be better in a first week, to be honest. So, what are you thinking of Adam? I would like to marry Paige because I think the boys all agree she's definitely wifey material. Well, Paige and Adam join me now. <laughs> You're both <laughs> giggling away watching. Like, you don't really get a chance to watch much of the series when you come out, do you? No. No, definitely. Absolutely I mean, not. we might watch a date. That's about it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a cute yeah. one. So one I can bear. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now, listen, there are lots of rumours that you've split up, but you're holding hands, you're sitting very close. <laughs> I'm not a body language expert, though. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Tell us the truth. I think what it was is we're really big on family. It's one of the things that I like so much about her, but you wanted to go to Swansea, keep my yeah. mum happy. Obviously, that was my job as well. <laughs> and then I wanted to go home as well, and that was it. it. I think it was just because we're the only islanders that kind of did that and we didn't stay in London, so, no, we're good. We always knew we were. <laughs> Yeah, it was just family. You wanted yeah. to be back in the warmth of your families, didn't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, my mum would have been so upset if I didn't go home, and Adam would have been even more in the doghouse, so... Exactly. Yes, let me help We'll come to that in a bit. Has, <laughs> actually, let's do that. Has he won your mum around yet? hundred percent. Like, she absolutely loves him now. It took all of two minutes when he came to Swansea and she was just obsessed, as were the rest of the family. And what about the rest of the family, Paige? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And so Adam came down and I was like, I'll throw him in the deep end. We'll just get him to meet all of the fam all at once. And just won the room over as soon as he walked in. It, I reckon it was the shots that did it in and dancing Who's on the this? table. Yeah, none of them. Please don't do this video. Again. That's your nan. <laughs> that's my nan and Andrew, Uncle Oh, Stuart. wow. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, that's family yeah. bonding. Yeah, family bonding. Family bonding. Uncle... Who's that on top of your show? Yeah, that is Uncle Stuart. He was giving you grief all night, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, they rinsed me. It gave us a bit of a grill in, but it went down really well. And, and who's this dad. here? That's my dad. Oh, look Aww. at him. <laughs> He's so cute. Was it a good night? Or did it make it you was. feel better about everything, in the sense that more secure? Because I think when your family meet that person and then they embrace that person, it does make your relationship easier in oh, some ways, so doesn't it? so much easier. I had no doubt that when he came down, it was going to go that way anyway. It was just nice to get it done and over with. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. And, Adam, we must sort of address what happened in 2018 when yeah. you were on Love Island, because, you know, your reputation had a bit of damage, actually, when you came out, about how you treated women and so on. But you came in a completely different, changed character this year what, yeah. what 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 was what's changed in you in those years i think i was probably a little bit too easily influenced by other people in the villa and maybe the cameras getting was a little bit when i was 21 22 because yeah. it was a long time ago i'm definitely a lot more mature and uh, probably a little bit more sensitive but i've always said it only takes one to change and as soon as i came into the villa obviously i only really had eyes for you and it was just easy like we got on so well straight away from day one it's great what did you learn about yourself um after the last time in the villa? Uh, do you know what? I always had that side of me, but not a lot of people ever saw it. And I think because of the way... When you the, say that side, what do you mean? Like, my sort of sensitive side, and I can be like that, but it just takes the right person for me to be like that. I've probably only been like that with one person before. So when I got the opportunity to do it this time, it was so much more plain sailing. It's lovely to see, actually, that this has worked out so <laughs> yeah. nicely. Um, and, Adam, what about your family? How do they feel about Paige? Is that... I mean, they've only seen her through the phone right now, but yeah. they love her a bit. My dad's calling her honey buns. I don't know if he's trying to wind her up or not. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we're going to go up to Newcastle real soon. And were you surprised that who won eventually? Were you surprised that Ekinsu and Davide won? I think it could have been any of those couples at the end. We yeah. Were, yeah, we would have been happy with any of them, but the date was obviously amazing. And <laughs> those two are great people. Like, such a laugh. I got on with Davide a lot. And Paige, have you spoken to any of the girls since you've come out? Oh, yeah. So, constantly in touch with India and Tasha the most. Being in touch with Jem. <laughs> we had a little reunion the other night, which was really nice. Jem was on holiday, so she couldn't come, bless her. Yeah. But, no, we made up for it. We had a couple of drinks for her. And it's interesting because, of course, Adam, you've been there. Your life changed after Love Island, you know, completely recognisable. Are you able to help Paige with this moment in her life, which is, <laughs> you know, it's a, it's a shock, it's isn't a it, lot. I think, yeah, when it you come out? Yeah, it can be overwhelming. Out. But Adam's been great so far. 
far. Like he's <laughs> probably take me under his wing with loads of it and help me out. But to be fair, so. it's the same for me. We've got each other's backs, and that's what's mm. nice coming out of it. Yeah, it is. And what's next for both of you then? Because you know, everyone talks about. Well, you've got your gym, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. But what's next mm. for both of you personally and also professionally? Um, so personally for me, I've got a meeting to go back to paramedic work as well. So that will be exciting. I actually saw an ambulance the other day with sirens on. I had like serious FOMO. I was like, wow. Get my ambulance back. Yeah, so I'm going to go back into that a little bit and just see what opportunities People come People will be surprised to hear you say that, won't they, I think, that you I want to go so. back to <laughs> what would be seen as, you know, a sort of public service job, something that isn't necessarily seen as glamorous <laughs> or the high earning no. that, you, that the influencers get these days. Tell people, me a bit, yeah. yeah, go on. I think people will be surprised how much you actually spoke about it in the villa as well. That was, I love that as well. Yeah, no, I honestly just, it's one of those things I generally just love my job. So like, why wouldn't I want to go back to it? Really enjoyed it. But I'll do other things alongside it. Oh, their <laughs> hearts will honestly. be a little bit faster when they see you. I'm not sure that's a good thing, is it? In the back of an ambulance. <laughs> oh, I'm sure all the guys I go to won't even recognise me. On a but... Saturday night when you're downtown <laughs> trying to, you know, pick up the drugs, you should be like, yeah, that is me, by the way. That's very funny. <laughs> Tell me a bit about how your colleagues have reacted then. So I... Yeah, I honestly, I didn't tell any of them that I was going on. But one of my like close colleagues, Matt, his name is, I cut text him as well. I was like, surprise. And he was like, you little witch. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you keep that secret. But no, they've all been super supportive and it's been nice to see them when I go back. Oh, that's lovely. And what about personally for the two of you then? Where do you see this going? We're just having fun with it. I mean, we're going to make the effort to come Swansea, Newcastle, do a little yeah. tour and then just see where we end up, to be honest. But... The families both love each other, and I yeah. think that's the main thing. So, are you officially boyfriend and girlfriend? We are. Yes, yeah. you are. <laughs> right, just to be clear, so just yeah. so we all yeah. know. Yeah, lovely. Well, we wish you all the best, and it's a lovely story, isn't it, to come out of the villa and find love? <laughs> Did you say you found love? <laughs> we haven't dropped the album you yet. Oh, we haven't right, dropped yeah. the album yet. We haven't dropped the album yet. I mean, I he will wants not. to, but, okay. you know. We'll roll back from We're that. We're trying to play cool right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, that's lovely. Uh, thank you so oh, much, both of you, you, for coming in. Uh, and uh, congratulations on wanting to go back to be a paramedic. Oh, I mean, thank you. you. Know, we need a lot of people <laughs> yeah. like you at the moment in the country, so thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.